Now we're on the way again. We're leaving Graciosa today and we're going to St. George, which is just, I mean, I think straight distance is 20 miles and to the harbor it's like uh, 35. Uh, yeah, we have some good, what wind is this? I'm completely confused. Southerly wind, south east. So we can go like close hold there. And yeah, the weather has been a bit unstable the last days, as you can see from the footage. Rain, storm, waves. Uh, I think it continues like this until, yeah, for the next few days. And then it hopefully we will have a bit more stable pattern. But we really enjoyed Graciosa. We, yeah, we're a bit sad leaving. Uh, yeah, but the harbor where we had the spot is not so good, and there was some swell coming straight in, so it's a bit hard to anticipate how it will be. So we rather move on. Yeah, and let's see. Hopefully, we will spot also some whales today. Yeah, and yeah, as you can see, it's a really beautiful island passing here behind me. Uh, and yeah, the little bird island you will you can see over there. I think it, it's also an old caldera. As you can see, it has the middle one. Yeah, everything is very beautiful here. So, stay tuned for South George. Beautiful weather. It's raining. Cats and dogs. What? Love you. Yeah. And it's dripping in. Yeah. And I can't see the whales. Where are the whales? You will never see whales. Yeah. Unless we sail. Unless we sail to Wales. <laughs> but we're doing decent progress. We have about 16 to. Yeah. Yeah, we do have a camera. I thought you were actually talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> right, I would like to retract my earlier statement about the whales. Thank you. I didn't hear that. Oh, okay, good. Uh, boisterous, boisterous condition. Ah, raining and raining and raining, but it's gotten a bit more windy. We're doing around. Six, seven knots. We have about 11 miles to the corner, to the tip of the island, and then it's another eight or so, which we probably have to motor or tuck. We'll see. Yeah, but it's really coming down. Can't see anything. So exciting time. dive again. It was ah, there's another one. There, yeah but the one was really close. What? Whenever something falls, things have been falling down in here, the sofa and whatever, and yeah. then he crawls on my head. So he's, he's fine and happy. So he's anxious. Yeah, he's Kai. Make it and things fall down. Hey, <gasps> <laughs> right. we approach now Velas in South George. It's just there. 
had a bit of tacking and I think we had a lot of current against us as well. No, it was not very fast. Uh, yeah, not very good tacking angles, but okay. We made it now. So what we did today, I dropped the three and the little one and Kai up on the mountain and then I drove down here and then you I drive. drove down yeah. and I walked 45 minutes on this path. I surfed for two hours and then they meet us and now we're walking back to the car. Yeah, we met with you. They meet yeah. us. Yeah, they, yeah. What, you and your multiple personalities? So, tired? Yes. Hot? Yes. So how many I kilometers? Saw the most beautiful waterfalls today that I've ever seen. Too beautiful, yeah. Yeah. That's really nice. But actually the whole way down we were hiking. Maybe the photos sorry. Maybe the footage has been here before, maybe we probably don't know. But the whole way down we were hiking, it was just sort of like passing the waterfall again and again and again. That's nice. So nice. And then this beautiful view of you surfing. I mean, if this is not the most idyllic little village. Are you happy? Very happy. You got some good waves, huh? Yeah, it was very nice. Never got it on camera, but look it. We saw you go like. Whoa. <laughs> I don't think I feel that felt that. What? I haven't felt that tired in a long time. Yeah, yeah, it was nice. I think this is and now paradise on earth. It is. It can't so be more beautiful than it is right now. No. no. Now I don't we, think anywhere in the world can be more beautiful. No. Now we might get wet. Yeah, but I'm already drenched in sweat. Yeah. Me too. It would be nice with a shower. But we will maybe go to a natural pool. Yeah. And have a swim. Mm, that would be good. Wow. Three. Three. 
four, five, six. Waterfall, everyone. So many waterfalls. Kai, do you like waterfalls? Kai, you enjoy the little road trip today? Oof. Oof. Flat hiking in the clouds. One thousand and nineteen meters. Kai, you don't know what to do? It's me or Panilla. What do you choose? Oh shit. <laughs> I lost. Kai! Kai, what are we going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow we will visit a Frenchman and his animals. Mr. Sa Xavier. There's a lot of chickens to be chicken hunt. He has chickens to eat and he has a horse. Afraid of them, Kai. It's okay, It's okay. You don't have to be afraid of the pigs. But it wasn't like this, really. I'm looking for a little I have no idea. Good. Because I think it was this, it was to jump. I like it. Woo! Thank you. Thank you for me. We just had to go. Hi! 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 How you feeling? Good. Yeah. Nice to be sitting on the horse. Yeah. I miss it. Yeah. I miss it every day. I'm watching it. Oh no. Hello. Are you parading on the street? I'm parading on the street. Okay. Where's mommy? Where's mommy? She's on an animal. She's on a horse. My dog and my new horse don't enjoy each other. No? Oh, it's so nice. There she comes. Yeah? I'm riding a horse with this view and everyone's so nice, I keep having to stop saying hi. <laughs> and she's so good to ride on, she's such a good girl. Do you want to tell the people where we are? Sao Miguel? No, we're in France. Sao George. Sao George. <laughs> yeah, and we met this lovely French man. 
Yeah. Which he also has a lot of animals, including a horse, and he invited me to ride her for a little bit. Yeah. Which is really nice. He's the kindest person, and he also wing foils and wings. Yeah, he's kind and cool. Yeah. And this is really nice. And I haven't been riding properly for so many years. Yeah. It's really nice to be back out here. Are you happy? You learn to share. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, looking through the footage, I kind of realized that maybe it's a little bit confusing because we didn't give a lot of cues to what we were doing when we were actually doing it. So <laughs> maybe it was a bit confusing, but we had traveling with other people and in some cases there were a lot of wind, so I had to take the sound out. Um, so there wasn't really any explanation <laughs> to no. what we were doing necessarily. But we had a lovely week on Sao George and we started, we had rented a car for a few days with some friends and um, the first part of the video as you saw we were, I went on a hike with our friends and along this, like down this hill, along this beautiful waterfall where we met Leo who had gone the other way and was surfing. Was surfing. Um, and then after that we went to this gorgeous natural pool which is it was just epic. Yeah, it's yeah. really perfect. Yeah, really lovely. And um, I think that part was maybe clear, but then <laughs> we sort of go into the clouds. Um, we go on a hike the next day, high up on the top of South Shores. Yeah. And it was and really beautiful, but super windy. So And a bit cloudy, and yes. a bit cold. So whatever we did say to the camera, I couldn't use. So it was beautiful. I thought we would show it to you anyway, because it, it was also a different yeah, experience. And, and good footage and prepped us for Ireland <laughs> and then finally actually the best part which we were with a lot of people and animals <laughs> we, we yeah. have a new friend um, and we keep saying that he's French and we later learned that he is actually from Belgium he moved here what seven, seven years ago and he yeah you met him surfing and he said come and visit uh, me I have Lots of animals and, and I have a horse that needs to be ridden. Yeah, so we went there. That's, yeah. that's vanilla for you. <laughs> yeah, so we went there and we met this pig, so it was so cute. And then you all guys, you went for a walk while I was riding the horse. Yeah, that was we sort of lovely. struggled to keep up with vanilla. <laughs> um, yeah, the horse is faster. Well, it's yeah. faster than two um, in this case. Um, yeah, and it was just a lovely day, and yeah, our friends had baked a apple cake. Dutch apple cake, Very and nice. we enjoyed some of his homemade uh, yeah, wine he, and pastis. He, I mean, he, he's pretty amazing. He makes wine, he makes pastis, he makes honey, he has cow, a cow, and he used to make cheese, but I think he said it's not so healthy for him to make cheese because he eats <laughs> it all. Uh, yeah. What else? Yeah, he. He, yeah, he's pigs sometimes, and yeah, they make baby pigs and so on. So he has a whole thing going. But yeah, turkeys and all kinds of birds. I don't know yeah. what. Actually, yeah, goose. Crazy. No, anyway, it was really lovely to to, to meet this fellow. Fellow, <laughs> really lovely person, and to, and to visit his home, and um, yeah, and for me to go riding was yeah, a big whoop, and we really love South Shores. Yeah, it's pretty perfect. We we did. All the things we really sort of wanted to do are like I've gone wing foiling, a bit of free diving and snorkeling, you've been horse riding, we've been hiking, swimming in natural pools, mm. uh, meeting people. Yeah, what else? Everybody is also really lovely here. Yeah. Like the, the harbour master here is the loveliest person ever, ever. Yeah. and it makes it so much easier to be here. Everything is very relaxed and very helpful. Um, and. Uh, yeah. yeah, so are all the locals, really. Yeah. So, all in all, this is perfect. our favorite perf island. Perf Definitely. Perf couldn't, couldn't be more perfect. Yeah, no. top marks yeah. Um, all around. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, it's been really nice. And, yeah. yeah, and we're very we're happy to share it with you. And hopefully, maybe you'll find some inspiration to come here as well. Yeah, and yeah. there's more. He also grows coffee. Up Not the Harbour Master, but Javier. Javier, he, drew, he also yeah. grows coffee yeah. and avocados and mm. whatever. But saying coffee, we had the car, we rented the oh, car right, for yes. two days. Yeah. 
but they delayed to bring the car like for for an hour or so and then they they really apologized there was a mix up and they said you know what you can keep the car for an extra day because they delayed and we were like okay perfect I mean that's extra. more than kind to say a whole day for an hour yeah. delay. And yeah, and the others they were quite tired from the two days of adventure, but uh, we still had a little bit of energy. Left. Yeah, a little so, bit. So we drove again across the island where there is this co coffee plantation. Yeah. And we have some footage and here and some. Yeah, we have some footage here, but just to explain, this is they grow coffee here, and it's just this place that they do it, they have a little cafe, we could go and taste the coffee and then they gave us a little bit of a of a small mini tour of the plantation. Yeah. A really lovely guy, but he was on his own that day, so poor guy had to give the tour and serve in the cafe on the same yeah, time. It's the most family family business it's ever. Super family, everything. Like it was the son they of yeah, his father owns it and then we met the son, I guess, and then his they, yeah, they, they mom and aunt also had a like a handicraft shop. on the search for coffee. So the red ones here are ready to be harvested. Yes. By hand. Yes. One by one. And they have about one hectare of land. Yeah. And once they've finished it, it takes a couple of weeks, once they've finished it, they can start over again. Yeah. And that goes on for like, what, three, three months? months? It's a really nice plant. Yeah. Ah, these are flowering. Come back. Our coffee is the fact we let the coffee... I have to go to the coffee shop. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just <laughs> couldn't return. So, how old are these? They are fresh, I think. Two days? Yeah, a couple of days. And then the brown ones down there, three weeks. Yeah. And here they are the figs. Yes. The coffee figs. And all these fruits sort of uh, enriching the flavor of the coffee here, right? That's a theory. That's what he said. And yeah. it's Arabica coffee. And it's original to what was introduced here like a hundred years ago. Yeah. And they don't change it because they want to introduce uh, diseases. And, and they never use pesticides any... or... No, they never use any, so it's 100% organic. Which is really cool. And here's wine. And now we're going to go into a little handicraft shop. When they start to colonize the islands 500 years ago. Um, and they hand yeah. pick the beans, you know, every day they oh, go yeah. around, they hand pick them, they hand dry, you know, they dry them. And then they, they, they dry, like, no, they, ro yeah, they dry them and then they roast them in the old fashioned way, which means they actually put them in a pan in the living room. Right, a normal pan, yeah. In television the and they roast and clean the coffee. Yeah, and it's like, and they need to be roasted for 45 minutes, and so all throughout the year they. Work. Do you know, they, yeah, they pretty much have this roasting going all the time because they actually produce quite a bit of coffee. Um, yeah, but yeah, but it's probably a joke. And considering uh, that they do it everything by hand, yeah. it's quite a lot. And I don't remember how much. I don't want to say. I think one over a ton in yeah, something raw like beans. So it probably ends up being like two hundred kilos. Yeah, of that's of how I remember it as well. Coffee. So they don't export the coffee. If you want to taste the coffee, you have to come here and. Buy it in the shop or yeah, you can buy like the a cafe. Really small yeah. bag. But they don't ship it. It's here, I, I think. It's, um, I think they said it's just enough, you know, to serve in the shop, drink at home, mm. and sell some souvenir coffee. So, yeah. yeah. I am not. I think the history of how they started growing coffee here is not quite clear. They have really good conditions here to. Yeah. To, to grow the coffee, but they don't have a lot of space. I think the theory is that somebody brought it over from Brazil in the yeah. 18th, 19th century or something like that. It's a and there used to be more people growing it, as far as I understand. And then he said there, there was, was a crisis in the 80s. Or some, also some natural disaster. Like a some natural landslide. disaster, yeah. And, and that took out a lot of the production, but his family has been growing ever since, still, as the only ones. And it's it's variety Arabica. Yes, it's and Arabica, yeah. Because it's there's no natu there's no diseases here mm -hmm. on the island, so they don't mm -hmm. need to use any pesticides it's or anything. One hundred percent organic and it is the original that was introduced. They haven't tried to introduce a new coffee 
that could variety be variety or whatever yeah. because it could also introduce uh, um, it could challenge the coffee that's already there, introduce diseases and whatnot. So it's pretty cool. It was actually really cool. It was really cool to meet this really generally family owned, family run as well. Not just oh, family owned, but family run business. Um, it was it was yeah. really nice. And that's how we finished up this visit to Saint George. Yeah. Thanks you very much for watching and not losing your yeah. mind. Yeah, your patience, patience with us. I, I hope it was enjoyable to watch. <laughs> yeah, we will try and do better. We'll see. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.